So this is one of our beautiful native orchids, the yellow lady slipper, sometimes called yellow moccasin flower because to someone's imagination, that looks like a little moccasin for a foot. This is a terrestrial orchid, so it does grow on the ground, as you can see, of course, and it is very uncommon, partially because it really depends on uh, an association with certain mycorrhizal, mycorrhizal fungus. So there's certain fungus that have to be in the soil, and if it's not in the soil, the little tiny seeds, so this can produce a ton of little tiny, almost dust-like seeds, um, they'll germinate, but without it, they can't continue to survive. It's a symbiotic relationship where the, the fungus and the plant need each other, which is uh, something that's important to keep in mind because people sometimes come and they dig these up thinking, oh, I wanna you know, plant this in my yard. What a beautiful plant. And I can't blame them because how beautiful it is, but I will blame them because you can't do that. Not only is it illegal to collect them, but when you don't take it out, you are more than likely causing huge issues with killing the fungus. And if you can't take the fungus and have it survive with you, this poor, beautiful native orchid is doomed. So people plant it, it survives for a year or two at most, and then it dies, unless you happen to have that fungus in your soil, which is not usually the case. So um, that's also the case where they try to inoculate soils and then plant it, but to raise it, not only does it take years of growth like this, and again, you can see the little like leaves, um, but the bad news is that once you take it out of the pot or whatever, or try to establish it somewhere else, it will not grow. Um, it won't survive because you can't transfer the fungi in a lot of cases. So please leave these beautiful native orchids alone um, to survive out in the wild. Um, and again, that's a huge issue is poaching of these wildflowers, as beautiful as they are. So until we solve that problem, that's one thing. Other thing is um, that is, this is a beautiful flower and it, it seems very attractive, big, huge, glow, whatever. Main pollinator is bumblebees. So bumblebee goes inside that little opening, um, gets the pollen on it. But unfortunately, except for pollen, doesn't get much of a reward. The, um, the nectar, it doesn't really produce nectar, so it then has to go and be dumb enough to fly over to another flower, another moccasin flower another one of these yellow lady slippers and fall for the same trick again. Again, not getting rewarded as much as you think. Therefore, um, it doesn't have a high pollination rate. So between not having a lot of pollination rate, although if it does get pollinated, it produces a ton of dust-like uh, pollen uh, seeds that then get spread quite a bit, but it doesn't get pollinated as, as often as we'd like. And then the seed needs to land at just the right place where there's the proper um, where there's the proper uh, fungi for it to grow. So please uh, enjoy these beautiful native wildflowers out in the wild, but do leave them be as um, all of the orchids are in some trouble. Another reason that they're in deep trouble, by the way, is that orchids, our native orchids, tend to be a absolute favorite for deer. Um, this is in the Thompson's Wildlife Management Area, also known for its great, great trilliums, of course, but it's a hunting site. It is a wildlife management area. This, it is bought and paid for and maintained with hunting dollars. And the hunting not only preserves this area, but preserves the plant themselves because there is not a lot of the damage that you typically see of when there's overpopulation of deer uh, chopped off, uh, chopped up, overbrowsed, different kinds of plants. And plants like these orchids have a better chance to survive. So again, hunting not only is a management tool to keep deer populations in check, but the hunting dollars pay for these beautiful tracts of land where these plants can, can survive and control the, one of the big predators for this, for the plants that we do have, the white-tailed deer. So enjoy our beautiful native lady slippers and other orchids, but enjoy them in situ, in place, and leave the moccasin flowers to survive in the wild and protect their lands where they grow rather than try to move them to a place where it's not the right habitat because they lack the fungi that they need. Yellow lady slipper, yellow moccasin flower are beautiful native plants.